Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. I am super hyped. This game released five days early towards the release date. It was only supposed to release the 16th and today is the 11th. So I do apologize now already. For the next month, this is all you guys are going to see on my channel. <laughs> Let's quickly go into our shop. Oh, wow. Okay, this is much different from the demo play, which I kind of like because the previous demo play, the shop was already upgraded to the max. It was like a sandbox kind of thing. So I got a little fan over here. You know, just when my tissue gets warm, I can cool it down a little bit. So we're going to locate the cell phone. Oh, here it is. And see if we have got any orders. So we do have an order, actually. Um, okay, let's just take the order I, I don't even know what we got to do because i saw there was two seconds left before it actually fades away i want to kind of help the client before it's too late and now i'm getting a black screen what does this mean did my get oh oh never mind oh oh my word this is a lancer everyone we got a lancer in the shop so we're gonna go and quickly move it this is the map i think maybe i gotta get a little bit closer um yeah, shopping list, options menu, inventory orders, photo mode. Wait, why? Why can't I move it? We need to move this car, everyone. Unless, let's just quickly go have a look inside because I do have this over here. So I don't know if we should like up. Yeah, obviously it's not going to work because we don't have everything yet. Um, let's quickly just have a look here. Body tuning shop, uh, electronics, a vehicle add-on, express. Okay, oh no, we're not going to do that. Uh, so we go back home because maybe plates interior shop tire shop yeah i was thinking that maybe we were supposed to buy something Can we go over here where does this lead us to outside yes it does oh oh there we go now it wants to move so we're gonna move it to car lift number a and here we go oh my gosh doesn't this look freaking sexy so we're gonna quickly just see what the heck is wrong with this car because I have got no idea. Right, so here we go. Car information. Here's the engine. Ooh. Oh wow, it even shows its power. Okay, so it's a single over swap. Oh, so they say it's we can go single overhead cam or deal overhead cam. So here is the call. Change coolant fluid, drain the old ones and refill of the new ones, and then uh Change the windscreen washer fluid. So, no, wait, we're just going to open it. So, right over here, we have got the... Alright, so, windshield washer. There's nothing in there. So, we're just going to quickly add a little bit. Oh, it's going to... Oh, gosh. We can't... We can literally not see anything. Okay, we're going to wait for it to take, like, a small dunk. The bottle. Wait. Is it, is it like, already full? Okay, let me just see something. Do they maybe want us to change it? Change the coolant, windscreen. Okay, let's quickly just keep on adding more. There we go. Because, yeah, maybe we just got to add more into it. Because we can't freaking see what's going on there. Alright, that doesn't seem to work. I don't know if it's, like, far past. So, we're going to remove the cap quick. Oh, no, no. We are going to say additional tools. We're going to say drain. We're going to drain it over here. Oh, wow. I wish it was this easy in real life. <laughs> okay, we're going to quickly go uh, go back over here. And we're going to fill it up. Maybe we got to first drain the coolant that was inside. One more. There we go. Okay, so I think the problem I was having over here is that you guys can see the blue. It's like already full. So I think what we're going to do first is drain the coolness on the inside oh yes yeah. see i was wrong i was wrong i'm sorry game we're quickly gonna go and fill it up uh, there we go so usually what i do is do you guys see this line over here i just wait to get there and then one up so it's there and one up boom all right okay so we got that tick let's quickly go over here we got tick tick order task wait was that literally the only things that we had to do is no additional task, nothing. Okay, we're gonna finish the order. Out it goes. So let's quickly go see if there's anything else. We got another one over here. Um, repair with parts of minimum condition. It doesn't say what is wrong. It just says 
this over here. So I think maybe it's like a just needs a small service or something. I can see above it. Let me show you guys real quick. Um, we're gonna quickly move this one inside. Spot number one. All right. If we do look over here, we're gonna see one here at the top. So I think this one here at the top is actually like part of the story mode. So I think we're gonna hit up to that one next. Let's see the engine. Good power curve, 145. Okay, change coolant, change power steering fluid, and change washer. Okay, so this is technically what we just did now. Additional drains. So we're going to take out the power steering fluid. And then we're going to take this out. I mean, we got to start somewhere, right? Imagine that big coolant thing in this small syringe. <laughs> going to pull that out. All right, so we're going to quickly save this. We're gonna go over here. Yeah, in it goes. You'll see now it's gonna dip right before max. Oh no, it didn't this time. Maybe it's just with the other ones. Okay, gonna top this one up. And you know what's a good thing about this game? Is that this is finally a game I'm playing on normal difficulty. Usually I play wait, a little bit more. Usually like I, I play games on the easy mode. <laughs> But yeah, this time it's we're, we're playing on normal mode. I mean, I can probably play on hard mode, but yeah, it's yeah, I, I don't know. There we go. I see this one. It even though it looks full, it doesn't kind of look full. The yeah, change the power steering fluid. Like we still need to top it up a bit. It's actually I don't like it looks full there. There we go. Okay, let's see now. There we go. It's completed. Of year we're getting seventy five. Wait. Other top 75, bonus, job bonus. All right, so out goes that one. So I think let's quickly get this car over here and see what we can do. Hi, I was passing by and noticed your repair shop. Uh, it's good that somebody took care of that old ruined petrol station. The car that I'm coming with today is quite a recent purchase. Uh, it was used as a daily base, uh, on a daily basis. The condition is rather okay. It would be good to check out the oil level and tires. That uh, should be no problem for you. If you manage then, perhaps this won't be your last, uh, our last meeting. See, all right. So we're going to change the oil. And then, yeah, we're going to see what else is there as well. They did mention about the tires. There's probably brakes as well. Oh my word! I it, it, it used to be a daily. You're right. You're freaking right. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain the oil first. I wonder if we can lift the bonnet up. Oh, at this position. Yes, we can. Oh gosh. Okay, this engine is pretty done for. Okay, we're gonna say move to engine slot number one. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna say drain. There we go. Oh. Oh, there was like no oil in it. Move back to your position. I wonder, because this is the interior detailing kit. I know there was somewhere, it's probably under construction, yeah. There was like somewhere a car washing thingy, but I, I don't know where it is now. Okay, so we got to check. Let's quickly just have a look. Over here. Oh, you see I was right. Brake pads and stuff. At least we did the other task. Oh, no. Oh, we first got it. Sorry, sorry. I completely forgot that we got to add more oil. <laughs> we almost sent this car back with no oil inside. They should actually give you like a fine if... if a little bit more. There we go. They should actually give you like a fine if something like that happens. Um, oil filter, around air filter, standard tire, one, two, three, four tires. They say two brake pads. So when they talk about brake pads, usually it's the one in, ones in the front. Oh. That's pretty loud. Alright. There we go. Let's quickly do the other wheels as well. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna quickly do the brake uh, pads, the ones in the front. Okay, there we go. They're coming off. Let's quickly grab the other side. Right over here. Off oh, there you go. I wonder if we have got a, a tablet. I don't think we have a tablet yet. Oh no. Unlock to use. So we still got to get ourselves a tablet. So we're going to say break for break pads. We're going to get ourselves two of them by parts. 
Uh, also, we gotta get a fuel pump, so let's just quickly search it. Oh, yeah, we're just gonna check out the pump to make sure it is this one because there's a different one. I just quickly wanna go back home. We gotta get tires. Um, we gotta get standard tires. Where is my tire stuff? Here it is. Okay, tire changer. So we wanna say separate. Wanna separate these two quick. Off it goes. Okay, um, let's quickly take it. I just want to make sure that we do buy... Oh, this is our shopping list. I don't want to go to my inventory. There we go. Standard tire, 215, 7515. 215, 7515. Um, standard tire. Okay, that is... It didn't say something about A and B, right? Standard tire, 215, 215. Me four of them. Two one five seventy five fifteen. Two one five seventy five. I must say this is pretty cool, like how you can just choose all of this stuff. We're quickly gonna go back over here. Uh you don't have the necessary parts. Oh 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 yeah, sorry. Oops. <laughs> uh, we first gotta install this one and then this one. So usually I, I intend to do some multitasking when it comes to the wheels, but we can probably put these brake pads on real quick while we wait. Okay, there we go. I wonder, there's nothing else being mentioned about a okay, brake pads. One, yeah, it doesn't look like other. Change power steering fluid, refill, change brake fluid. Okay, so it literally, wait, wait. There was something else I just saw um, over here. Change oil, dry. Oh, okay, we, we did do that. And then, all right, all right, that's fine. I'm uh, gonna take this one over here. As I remember now, we still gotta, yeah. Um, balance and then balance. There we go. So we're gonna say take this. Uh, we're gonna say separate. So let's quickly do all of these wheels so we can get that over and done with. And kaboom! Alright, so we're done with all of these new tires. They're pretty long, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I don't know how loud that is, so I'm just gonna turn it a little bit down on my settings real quick. There we go. I hope it's a little bit better because I don't want it to be so loud that you guys can't hear me when I'm talking while I'm busy at it. Um, there we go. Really gonna drop this one on. We're gonna do the brake caliber on the other side while the brake pads and noise. All right, so we're gonna quickly do the brake pads because we got the new ones. Uh, brake caliper, good stuff, and it goes. And for the standard tire, and wow, I'm not gonna lie, since the, since I played the demo. Oh no! Hold up, hold up. Let me go. <laughs> yeah, since the demo, these screws they turn in much quicker, so I'm actually used to that now. And there we go. Let's quickly just go to the other side. We're gonna pop this one in here as well. There we go. And finish. All right, so let's quickly see what else we got to do. We got to do the fuel pump, oil filter V8, and round air filter. Yeah, so we got to do home, uh, main. We're going to say round. I think it's going to probably be one of these. Uh, two carb. There we go. Uh, we're going to say buy. And then we need a oil filter for the V8, which is... Okay, we got two. I think it's the... Oh, no, oopsie. I think it's just the V8 standard one. So, let's get this one. And we still got to get the fuel pump, but we will do that soon. We're quickly going to take this cover off. Take the... Oh, gosh. Yeah, this air filter is done for, buddy. We're going to add. 
add this new one. Oh, and you guys know what I just noticed now? I accidentally refilled the oil without doing the oil filter. So that means we got to lift the car back up. Stupid me. And then we got to drain the oil again. Otherwise, all the oil is going to leak out. And then we got to clean it up. Um, drain. While it's busy draining, maybe we can quickly get in here at the fuel tank. There it is. And there's the fuel pump. Okay, out it goes. So that is just a normal fuel pump that I was aware of. Just gonna say fuel. This one over here. Buy parts. Uh, we're gonna move this one quickly back. Let's just get to this oil filter. There it is. Oh wow. I'm not gonna lie. I think this entire car needs to be rebuilded. It's really rusty. Okay, we got that done. Uh, fuel tank. Install fuel pump there we go a new one is in we're gonna quickly drop the car again i'm just glad to see it doesn't look like my game is lagging too much i'm having some trouble with the other game i was playing with some lag but I, i'm not sure if it was a windows update or something we're gonna top this one up real quick and wait for it to duck well, now there we go oh wow and there we go there's a little bit more and then I saw we got to do the... Okay, all of that is ticked. All of that is ticked. So refill windscreen fluid, change power steering, and brake fluid. Okay, so we're going to quickly say this is the power steering. We're going to quickly drain everything out. Alright, and then we're going to say that. We're going to go over here. Split up real quick. I think this angle is a little bit better. Let's see. It should be full now. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. I think that's fine now. We got to do the uh, the break, the break one. So let's quickly just drain this first. There we go. And then we're going to go and top it up as well. And it goes. I must say, at least the liquid inside makes it look a little bit cleaner. <laughs> a little bit more. There we go. Okay, and then we got to top up the washer fluid, they said. But here it is. I was like, does it even have one? Here we go. And it goes. Almost there. And one more. Boom. All right. So that is good. I think we got literally everything now. Good, good, good. Uh, what we're going to do, I don't probably have to do this, but we're just going to quickly move it outside. Parking slot number one. I just want to make sure it starts and everything is fine. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. It sounds a bit broken, but I, I did my job. <laughs> it does struggle to start as well. Um, finish order. Boom, that is so cool. Yeah, so I think the what's if, if it was real life, it's probably because we had to prime the car a little bit first. All right, so over here, we got two cars, both of them in for the brake system. So let's see. Poor brake performance, less provided. I think this one's just having brake problems. Poor brake performance. Right, let's have the, let's take the, the brake problems. And then there we go. We're going to quickly move this one inside so we can have a look. Because brake problems, it can be something like not just the brake pads or brake calibers and stuff like that. It can actually be like the pump. So before we continue... Oh, we got a case. Yes. Obviously, we want to open it. Uh, Pick this one. Bonus. Oh, yeah. 18. Freaking 18 CR points. Let's go, baby. Um, and then all of these, they are, oh gosh, why, why do I have brake caliber parts here by me? Did I never put one of the car's brake calibers back? Oh gosh, um, sell parts, V, sell all of them, there we go. I can't believe I, s wait, wait, is there like a, a message, an email system or something? Orders, uh, uh, there we go. That's the easy way to go to the order. Shopping list. Okay, um, I don't know if there's like an email thing. Home. Community, open shopping list. Right, I'm not sure. 
Okay, so let's quickly find out what is wrong with this car over here. We're gonna go over here. ABS pump, disc, disc, pad, pads, which is probably the front ones. I, I just intend to look at the front ones first. Okay, off they go. Uh, all right, looking at this brake pads over here is bad. The disc isn't too bad though. Let's just quickly take the disc out. We're gonna quickly say assemble. Let's just see the condition. It's 54. Not too bad. And the brakes is what? 20%. See, the brakes is shut. So we're gonna quickly remove these ones. As, oh, we're gonna tight bolt over here. Out they go. Okay, see, this brake pad over here and this doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's quickly just jump here to the ones at the back. So here you can see this brake disc is done for. So it's a solid brake disc. And that also probably means that the other side brake disc is gone with the brake pad. Let me remove this one. Oh, we got two... Uh, all stuck over here. All right, out they go. Can we remove this caliper? Yeah, see, this brake pad is is also done for. We're gonna remove that. We're gonna remove the brake pad. Um, let's quickly just run over here. I just want to see. We gotta get uh brake pad okay so we're gonna get two of these solid discs bye and we're gonna get two brake pads bye um over here was everything was okay so we're gonna just quickly put this wheel back in it goes and that one all right let's quickly go to the other side we gotta do this one as well uh, but we're gonna install the new brake pad over here the new brake caliper over here. Good stuff. On goes the tire. Okay, so now we're just uh, left of the two ones at the back. So we're obviously going to put on the new solid brake disc. We got the new brake pad. I think we're just going to put the old one back on the other side because that was just the disc that was kind of faulty. I think we're going to do this one. So now for the final wheel, let's just quickly get it in. I tried to turn my audio a little bit softer. I accidentally bumped my... Do you call it a mix amp or what do you actually call it? Yeah, I bumped it and then everything just stopped recording. Well, not recording. The um, the My voice went away. The, it didn't hear the desktop audio. It was like a complete mess. We're quickly going to remove the uh, ABS pump over here. So this is currently the module. Module is sitting on top of the pump. We just got to lubricate that a little bit. I wish it was that easy. ABS pump. Right. So I just want to see. We got the shopping list, right? Um, you know, it's, it, it doesn't say anything. So I'm not sure like how you add it to the shopping list. Um, we are just going to say ABS for the AB oh, brake system, brake, uh, unless it's an electronical part. We go over here, ABS. Yes, it is. So we got to get ourselves the pump. Okay, let's quickly just get back into the engine bay. In it goes. Then the module. Yeah, I see there was a few other things we also had to do. I think one of like draining the coolant oil or something. Let's quickly have a look. So here is everything. I just want to see. Oh, it's only telling us to do these. Parts of it. Like it's not showing us anything else. So that means we have literally done everything. We got a lot of moolah from that. And then all of this stuff. We're just going to say sell. There we go. So, oh yeah, we can do it just like this. So here is another car, which I think is part... Oh, it's a Mini Cooper. Which I think is part of the game. 
Hi, my name is Joanna. I was referred here by my neighbor. He's a car dealer. I hear that your repair uh, shop has been up and running since quite recently, but you took like a promising mechanic. Oh yeah, I'm promising. Did you guys hear that? Uh, it's almost annual service time. My buddy doesn't seem to have any problems, but I... Uh, but I'll leave the car, uh, leave that for you to decide. Please change the oil filters and fill the missing fluids. I've ha I haven't had time for that recently. John mentioned that there was a tapping in the camshaft. It could be your... Ooh, see, that can get expensive because it could be the chain. It could be a cam that's broken or something. I don't know what that means. Perhaps it will make more sense to you. Please take care of my car. Have a good day. You know, we'll take that. Please be red as well. It looks good in red. <laughs> oh, it's green. Apple. Who wants an apple? Alright, there it is. Okay, so. We quickly gotta do all of these things. Let's just have a, a quick peek. Um, here it is. So, belt tension. Oh, you see, this is gonna be like a brake pads, cam gear. Cam shaft? I don't know. Okay, so this is a huge thing. Change brake fluid. Refill, change power signal for it, coolant, brake. Okay. So I think let's quickly do this because it's going to be so much quicker. I'm just going to suck all of that out. You know what? While we add it, we're just going to suck this a little bit out as well. Just so that I don't have to like redo it. Go back into it and completely redo it. Right. And then we're going to get the... There's a brake fluid. It should be over here. There it is. Okay, out it goes. That one was about halfway. So we're just gonna go and refill all of this quick. No, just while we add it. So we're doing like a full major service on, on this car over here. Okay. See, there we go. Looks better. Uh, we're gonna quickly do these two as well. At least with this, hopefully we don't have to do the water pump. If we do, we're just gonna have to drain this one again. No, just drain it out and throw it back in. Nothing to it. <laughs> um, do this one. Okay, in it goes. I'm not going to lie. This is the biggest container of all of them, but it feels like it's filling up the quickest. Okay, one more. There we go. And then just for the power steering fluid. And in it goes. It's kind of like confusing because look, it's going to reach max now, but a container doesn't drop until there there we go okay so let's quickly get to working on this car we have done all of that we got to change the oil and drain the oil yes so we got to get the force not discover spark plug spark plug we probably got a few ignition coils that's also done for i think let's start off with by removing the the top part first so we can see what the heck is going on inside oh we got three bad spark plugs one to end with the last one three let's remove this cover quick before we remove that let's actually just quickly lift the car up just make sure we drain all the oil so we don't mess oil and have to clean it up you actually gotta pay to clean it up it's like a penalty fee or something like that move okay let's just quickly there we go we're gonna say drain Ooh, that's that's milky Looks a little bit milky, didn't it? <laughs> we got some water and oil mixing over here. Okay, so now we can quickly go and remove this over here. I'm just going to go from an angle like this. So much easier to remove it then. Okay, make it straight. Out it goes. Alright, so this cam over here on the right hand side is shut. We're quickly going to go and remove all of these ones we've got a petrol filter in a way as well all right so I i've got a question does the timing be this side okay let's take off this uh serpentine belt brother a is okay the serpentine belt is okay let's take off this crankshaft pulley okay and then we're gonna take off this timing cover There we go. And a boom. Oh, there we go. So yeah, this cam gear. Oh gosh. Okay, belt tensioner is shut. The idle idler mm. roller A. Oh, we gotta take off the serpentine belt. 
Okay, and then we can take off this cam gear. I think before we can take off the the take out the cam shot, we first gotta remove the belt on this side. Let's see. Okay, we got a cam gear B. Then right over the oh oh wow, this is interesting. We gotta take the caps off. Okay, I think in that case, let's just go and install this cam gear over here. I mean, it's still in good condition. There's nothing wrong with it. See, this is pretty cool because previously you could have just removed the cam shaft. So now you actually got to like remove all of these bolts, uh, these caps. Okay, there we go. I quickly get this one. So this should be the exhaust. Wait, now we got a problem. Oh, we got to take off this cam gear. <gasps> no. All right. There we go. Camshaft 14B is out. Here we go over here. Camshaft uh, 14B. We're going to get ourselves one of those. I'm just going to buy part for part as we go. I don't want to spend any money unnecessarily. Uh, I'm going to quickly put on these caps again. I just don't hope there's anything else wrong further down. Because, yeah, to open this up actually seems to be like a huge freaking job now. And here it goes. This one. I must say, I kind of like the plastic intake manifold. Not like in, I like it, I like it. It's just like it's really realistic because, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think this car was actually having a plastic manifold. Okay, I just want to see something real quick. So... See, there's four parts that is not discovered, right? Um, okay, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to be the pistons. Let me just do a visual inspection to see if it's something outside of the engine. And obviously it's not. So, you see, this is where it gets a little bit difficult because it could be the pistons. I mean, the, if the cam is bad, it might actually be the pistons or rods or whatever. Um, just quickly get in here. Hopefully, I can see some kind of condition from underneath here. Let's see, uh, piston of Conrod. Okay, that looks good. The rods look good. Okay, it doesn't look damaged. It actually looks pretty good from down here. Yeah, I didn't even the the caps, the the main bearings and everything looks okay. So I don't think it's that. It must be something else. Ooh, this car has got a turbocharger. Watch her at the back. There it is, peekaboo. I see you. Uh, can we, like, get over there? There it is. There it is. All right, let's quickly just go back, drop this car real quick. We still got to do the brake pads as well. Oh, yeah, it's definitely these ones in the front. Maybe it could refer to those as well because it says brake pads, but it doesn't say the this. Guys, look at me. I'm doing like freaking 10 jobs here at once. I should have first finished up with the engine. Let's quickly finish up with the engine. And then I should have only moved on. Okay, here we go. Could have just repositioned the camera. Down they go. Alright. Going this side right now. Alright, so we're going to put on this timing cover over here. And it goes. Let's see if we can get to the spark plugs. Now we can finally see two of them were bad. So it wasn't three, it was two of them. Right, let's quickly go and buy some new ones. I think it also falls under electronic uh, components. Okay, let's just say there's spark. Spark plug, we're gonna buy two of them. We're getting back over here. <coughs> In it goes. There goes that one. We're quickly gonna drop all of them in. I see one of the coils are also done. How much percentage does it say? 39. Yeah, I think it's also completely shut. And I think we should also change one of them. Um, where is it? Coil, coil, coil. Oh, ignition coil. There it is. Well, that's weird. Okay, let's quickly install this one. I just want to see what it does. Sorry, this is still a, a learning curve. There we go. See, it says... Weird. 
Power plug, power plug. Oh, it's, you see, it says it's ticked. That's weird because we never fixed it. Okay, so let's just quickly go on and see if we go further what's gonna happen. So we're gonna get a new cam gear, inline four single overhead cam. Uh, there we go. Cam gear, inline four single overhead cam. That's just a normal cam gear. Okay. You just say, "Cool, oh, there we go." That is this one. Right, so we're gonna move on to this idler roller A. I put on the serpentine belt, but this one is destroyed, so it's the 14B. Serpentine belt A, 14B. We've actually just bought the belt tensioner as well. Okay, there we go. Let's check out this one over here, belt tensioner. Yeah, this one is shut. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Tensioner. Belt tensioner. Okay, yeah, this thing is this one. It didn't say any numbers or stuff with it. I'm going to quickly go over here. Pop it in. One bolt to tighten it down. Timing cover. Okay. Then we're... Oh, wow. That's a big freaking screw. Let's quickly go to the crankshaft pulley. Then we're going to go to the serpentine belt B. Which is in good condition. And then the idler roller A. See, that one is done. Idler. Idler. Roller A. Oh, yeah. We can save. Let me just save before something happens. And then I'm going to start over. Now, here in South Africa, we got a lot of power outages. Oh, okay, yeah, we're gonna screen the bumper, everyone. <laughs> okay, so now that I think we've got the engine complete, we're quickly gonna move over to the brake pads and the brake disc. Okay, we're gonna take off the brake pads. Brake disc. So these ones in front is obviously ventilated. Oh, wow. These discs are also shut. I wonder how the rear ones look like. Because they did say it needed a server. So servers could usually be everything like this. Okay, gotta get this one. There we go. Brake pads. Ventilated discs. Let's quickly go and just buy more. So we're gonna say brakes. So it's gonna give us the pads. Two of them and the ventilated discs. Okay, let's go and put them back on. I don't see anything else that looks damaged. The car is actually in really good condition. Brake caliper. Piston is also okay. And it goes. I'm gonna drop in this tire real quick. And they're in. Okay, let's quickly go to the other side and just see. What happens if we shove all of them in? So we're gonna go check out the rear brake uh, brake disc, and it goes now for the caliper. Okay, and then for the standard tire, and it goes. What is today? Today is Wednesday. I was just wondering because uh, as you guys remember I told you guys that this oh yeah the brake pads are shut uh, the game released five days earlier so it would have mean that it would have came out over the weekend but I think they were just too excited to wait here we go oh no 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 here we go gonna remove this one quick all right and then here goes the first brake pad so let's quickly see because the other side it doesn't Necessarily mean it might be the oh it is the brake pad because it could even be the disc you know all the parts are individual and wear different uh, differently. Okay, we got that one off. We're gonna quickly take off this caliper. There we go, and here goes the brake pad. Okay, so let's quickly go buy some new brake pads. We're gonna get two of these bad boys over here. I just quickly want to see, um. Oil filter in line four. Oh, we gotta change rubber bushings. Is there damage? Oh, there's a damaged rubber bushing. Okay, so the rubber bushing that was damaged was here at the back. Let's just quickly say ace assemble. 
just quickly finish up with one job over clock before we continue and try to do 10 tasks at once uh disassemble see this bushing over here looks okay i don't think there's more than two bushings on each side this bushing over here is done for i think oh, oh wait 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 we got more bushings over here no, but this is for the what do you call it yeah it's not that this is a small rubber bushing it's also not a big one just check out this one over here it's fine so i wonder if it's not but oh, there it is we got you i believe i'm actually removing it like this i don't think you can remove it like this in real life okay so those were the bushings you can just go over here bushings we gotta get the big one two three four five right so we go back over here pop this one in I must say, you know what is pretty good about this kind of work? is like, you get paid your labor to do the job. You keep their old parts. And when you keep their old parts and, how do I say it? And sell them, you get money from it as well. So get the parts, the money back for the... All the, like, all the stuff you need to buy. Like the brake pads and the wear and tear stuff. So it's kind of like cool that you can... So many ways for you to get money. We're gonna quickly do this tire of a year. I think we're done with the entire tire brake system and stuff. If not, I think we're even done with the car. We just gotta check out that coil pack. There we go. Gotta get them in. All right, so let's quickly check out this car. We just got to fill in the oil. So oil filter. Wait, there's a rubber bushing we missed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oops. At least we can... <laughs> we can at least install it like this, everyone. So it's a bonus for us. Um, oil filter inline for Okay, let's just quickly... I don't think we can remove it like this. No, car's got to be up. Okay. Oil filter. Oil filter. There we go, inline four, buy parts. We go back. Yeah, here it goes. It's going out. It's actually in good condition. I don't know why we're changing it, but that's what they asked for. Literally, it's what they asked for. I think they asked to for us to change the oil filter. Okay, we're gonna quickly top up the oil, and then I think we are done, everyone. It's actually better to work on one part of the car first before you continue uh, working on other parts. It's just so that you know what you're still going to do and should not do and etc. Yeah, everything is done. Everything is done. Over here, everything is done. Everything is done. So that means thank you so much, good sir, for... Oh, game first. Thank you so much for dropping in. I really do appreciate it. You can come and collect your car. Well, I'm going to go over here. Oh, we got a crate. You want to open a crate? Yes, please. What am I going to get this time? One, two. Barn location map. Oh, we got a restoration one. Okay, so we're going to say... Sell all parts. We're just going to click there. Sell all of them. So we got our barn location map. But I don't think we've got enough money to go and buy a car yet. Well, a destroyed car and trying to fix it. I think we should rather try to get rid of this bus and everything. I've, I've got actually like no idea where we're going to do that. Um, let's quickly go home. I know tune up. Body tuning. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go back. Uh, home. Because we also got the, the dino now. Tuning shop. Let's see what's in here. Oh, wow. So this is where we get like performance parts. Okay, that's, that's where I like to be. That's my home now. Um, vehicle add-ons, plates, custom gearbox shop. That's pretty neat. Uh, body station, body tuning. So I think this is like for white body kits and stuff. Um, let's just quickly have a look. I know that we are supposed to options menu, load game settings. Okay, yeah, let's just save the game quick. Settings, tutorials, exit. Okay, let's go back. So we got photo mode, shopping list, orders, inventory, map. Okay. Oh, we got a racetrack, park in your garage, car saloon, speed track. Okay, this is pretty cool. And then I just want to see because. We should be... Here we go. So, here is a shop. Here is where we can buy more stuff for the shop, I think. At a second, yes. There it is. We got an onboard diagnostic tool. We got a fuel pressure meter. 
oh wow guys this is insane this is such a big jump uh we're gonna quickly buy this one tab i use the tablet a lot i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy more of this in the next episode we got a dino over here we got an onboard diagnostic tool maybe maybe we should get one of those tire thread gauge uh, and all of these okay that's that's pretty cool okay everyone thank you so much for watching i do hope you all enjoyed this video of me what we're gonna do next is we are gonna i think we're gonna see if we can get a, a second slot of here get all of this junk out of here and then we're gonna see to get like a, the diagnostic tooler stuff tool and all of that stuff and see maybe we can just buy a bunch of things to make our work actually much easier but for now we are gonna drop this video here we're gonna drop kick it in a good note thank you so much for everyone watching i really do appreciate it. if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a big like if you love to support the channel especially if you're new hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe if you want to see a similar video hit the icon on the left if you want to see one of my most recent videos, hit the icon on the right. And then I'll see all of you legends in my next car. But for now, I gotta go and buy some milk. And I'll show you my leg first. Hey, stop. 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 Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, next one.